All right, back at it with some Binding of Isaac. Uh, been working on my save files here. And today I think I'm going to get some progress on the third save file. Get a fresh Isaac experience. Oh, gotta turn off the mods, hold on. Just use those for information because Honestly, looking at the wiki every two seconds seems pretty inconvenient when you don't know exactly what it does. Played this game long enough, I generally know what all the items do, but, you know. It's like, oh, does this item give me range or does this make my tears with brimstone break, you know, things like that. Taking hits by uh, flies. It's okay, first four, doesn't really matter. Just gonna get a completely busted run on. First run on this, guarantee you. Struggling to beat Hush on the second save file. Game will not give me the items I want. Now that's Isaac for you. I believe petrified poop is unlocked by default, so kind of cool to get that. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> I forget if normal teleporter remote can teleport you into the double room. I don't think it can. I think it only puts you in the secret room. Pretty sure secret room's right there, anyways. Below. Well, above the shop. Okay. Mmm. Yes. I love almost being dead. Can't tell if this is a repentance room. It feels like one. Actually, I don't think it is. This might be an afterbirth room. Generally, you can tell what uh, DLC pack the uh, room came from by just how annoying it is. Going for that champion it would have been too bad. Let's look inside the sacrifice room. That way we get it marked. And there is no cursed room, so that's good. Unlock this golden chest. Equality is okay-ish right now. I'm gonna mark this. Well, does this one give me more range? It does. I think I'll take the range. So this is the secret room. Uh, maybe get magic mush. Help. Oh yeah, okay. It's gonna be one of those runs. <laughs> Hey, you know, tears up would be cool. Range up, speed down. Okay. <laughs> and this is probably the super secret room. Batteries. Uh, maybe I can at least test if I can get into the double room. Oh, he might hit me. This is a shitty arena. I should be ready to teleport in case he is about to hit me. The speed down is not helping right now. Oh man, I'm not dying to a pooplet. It's gonna, yeah. Oh, I got rid of my barricade. That was really close. Ah, uh, you stupid poop what? No! I've never struggled with Dingle so much. Nah, I probably have. I've fought this man hundreds of times. 
Oh, oh, that was really close. He was gonna hit me if I didn't hit him. Let's get this tears up and uh, break some of these. Oops. All right, so we have all the I yeah, we have all the rooms discovered. So put me in the secret room. I'm pretty sure that's the most it'll do. I don't really have to min max this run that much, but it'd be cool to get something cool. I'll try two more times. If I don't get it, then whatever. Yeah. I'm pretty sure if I recall correctly, this will not put you in the uh, devil room. I don't even think it'll get you in the glitched room. Yeah, okay, we're done. I'll take one of the batteries though. Maybe I'll teleport into the item room or something. On the next floor. It's not right in front of me. Okay. Man, petrified poop would be really cool. You get a lot of poop spawns. An arcade. That could play into our favor. I think I said I was going to use the teleporter, but it's probably going to just put me out in another room, so. Uh, this is Smart Fly. He's all right. I was like, I'm going to reroll it. I don't have a D6. Power pill, I should have saved it. I was thinking of that too. Got another temperance machine too. Got a split fly and two normals. Smart fly is only going to do something if I get hit, which is why I kind of wanted to reroll it if I could have, but. Uh, this is the unfortunate woes of being in a new save file. Not a too hard of a second floor. Pretty easy overall. Uh, secret room. I'll look where the secret room is here in a second. Might be next to the shop. Might also be too hard to tell. Sometimes it's a guess. A lot of the times you can narrow it down. Super secret room tends to be a guess a lot of the time. Could be on the left side of the curse room or it could be below the shop if I had to guess. 50-50. I could also use the teleporter remote here and figure it out by using that. Be cool if this is a chariot card. Hierophant, that's pretty decent. Larry Jr. I wasn't getting hit anyways though. Watch me get hit. <laughs> oh bro, he's coming right at me. Be careful, he's gonna move to the left here. Oh no, he moved to the right. Monstro's Tooth! Getting some tears though, that's pretty good. 
Is something cool in here? No. Black powder is not the play. <laughs> I don't think I can do boss rush on the first run. I think I have to kill mob first. So I don't think there's much of a point of going for boss rush. Uh, that makes it have a chance to spawn an item at the end of the room. I think I'll go into the curse room here. Getting any guppy items or goat head even would be pretty good. Fortunately, we just take damage. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> the creep was blocking me off. Get some extra money here from the blood machine. I don't think I can get blood back immediately. I think I have to unlock it. Here's my V-Bag. That's honestly better. Okay. Want to put in as much money into, uh... The coin donation machine in the shop. As early on as possible, because that unlocks upgrades for your shop. Gets more items to spawn in there. More items means more of a chance that there's actually something good in there. Oh, he hit me. Yeah, I saw that one coming. At least Smartfly is actually doing something now. Smartfly is an okay item, but it's kind of sucks that you have to take damage for it to actually do something. Otherwise, it's too close of an orbital to really make use out of a... Uh, Hitting things with it. Most orbitals spawn a little bit farther from you, so you can actually like creep up on enemies and just put them on top. Makes it do damage. Like these guys are pretty good for getting your orbital to hit them. Unfortunate. We're gonna keep going. I did not realize I was so low on health that a champion hit me. Because I swear I had one and a half Hierophant. I mean, the soul hearts. That Hierophant of hearts. Be able to get both of these range down doesn't really hurt us that much monster book oh sorry monster manual battery can be good that's uh that's the buddy who drops rechargeable batteries i believe See if we get something good. Oh. No. No. I might be able to hit him through the wall. Nope. Oh, he's kind of useless. Oh, I think he's spiders. I don't really like that room that much. Chance of getting hit is pretty high. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to the fly on the left. Damn. Cursed rooms worth going into. You should always try and go into cursed rooms if you can. Because these crates, the Black crates can basically spawn items a lot of the times. If not, generally you're going to get consumables anyways. 
That's gonna make your life a whole lot easier. Some people are scared to go in them because, you know, you gotta take damage for it, but... There's a lot of ways to avoid taking damage as well. Death Guard could be good if it's something like uh, Duke of Flies. He's got so much HP. I mean, he's got so little HP that you know, basically kill him almost from that. And we'll grab that after we kill the boss. Uh, super secret room is probably right here. I didn't look for the secret room. Oh, it's probably here then. Nope. Okay, it's somewhere random. That's okay. Oh, that's not even where the secret room is. Damn. Oh, yeah, boss room. <laughs> I shouldn't have fucking done that. That's obvious. It wasn't that. Got Dingle here. I might use the Death Guard here. Depends if he gets a little too rowdy. Do that. Easy dingle fight, as always. Blood clot's pretty good. This is gonna be a close call. Yep, I'm taking damage. That's so sad. I think there was a way out of that, but I figured I could out-damage the one dude, if not. Oh, look away for a second. It's okay, I already took damage, so it's not like taking more damage is going to really matter on this floor. Unless I die. But I probably won't. Flies all right. Uh, boss should be down here, and I think the treasure room might be up there. Got some YouTube. Maybe you walk into it. I don't want to walk in there yet. All right. A lot of pills. Pills. Oh, I'm gonna take damage. Nope, I'm good. Play this safe. Puberty. Puberty's alright. And I think if you get three of those, you uh, get the puberty transformation. I think it gives you a uh, heart container. I don't know if it does anything else, I can't remember. Okay, maybe the treasure room's down here, but knowing Isaac, it's gonna be up there. Yep. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. I'm surprised I was just sitting in there. Yeah, I knew that went through walls. Personally, I'm more of a fan of Technology 2 than Technology 1. Mm. 
goat head. That's why you enter these. Gets you guaranteed double room, so now it doesn't even matter that I took damage. Go into the shop here, and if we don't have a discount on an item, then we're going to deposit our items. That's a shitty item anyways. <laughs> Break this dude. Oh, I accidentally hit that. Well, it <laughs> I forgot I had the cross blast on the bombs. Well, I guess I have more money for now, but whatever. Most of the money I'm going to deposit anyway is going to be in greed mode. In the normal game, you can just do it passively. Grab the items you need and then pause the money you don't need. Uh, we could go for the guppy transformation. That'll be interesting. This guy gives you more cursed chests. This guy converts your hearts into soul hearts. But we're going to stick with monster manual for the damage. It's uh, three guppy items, I believe. You get turned into guppy and it is quite a good transformation. Probably one of the better ones in the whole game. Once you spawn flies and gives you flight. Quite useful. Dry baby is a huge... Well, it's the same dry baby or skeleton baby. Either way, has a chance to just cause the death effect when he gets hit. He's a good shield and he uh, actually does retaliatory damage. Good time for petrified poop. Um, Butterbean's not unlocked by default. Okay. I'd rather never unlock it, but sure. Oh boy. Probably gonna make me take damage. Or not. We're a gamer. God Gamer Supreme. Beats an easy room. Ice baby, or rather freezer baby, if I recall. Quite a good one. Chance to turn the enemy into an ice cube, and then you can kick them around. And then they break into even uh, more ice cubes like that. Kind of thinking how to describe that. One of the better followers as well. And that's why. Oh, unfortunate. But what's more unfortunate is not getting a single key. <laughs> Three chests and not a single key. I feel like this is going to end up with me only getting one key and then uh, not being able to unlock any of these chests. Oh. <laughs> oh, Curse of the Tower. I might take it just for the memes. I have no way to get those either. Wow. <laughs> what? Do I have to guess the secret room? I'm assuming it's between the shop and the item room right there. It is not. Hmm. Perhaps right here? Not right there. Uh. Oh yeah, it wouldn't have made sense anyways. I have enough bombs. I guess it doesn't really matter. I think the super secret room's right here. Or maybe the secret room right here. Are they next to each other? Yep. <laughs> okay, we got a soul heart. We like that. Thanks, game. You gave me something I can't really use. But we can get into the shop here and uh, buy a key. <laughs> Hell yeah. I could gamble and open one of those chests, but uh, there's a chance I lose. Monstro. Okay, okay. Monstro swung is pretty good. We get brimstone on this, and we have a very winning build. Uh, 
And I just have to sit behind Crybaby anyways. As you see, it's only a chance base that he actually does his effect, but he's also a really good shield. I don't even have to move, as an example. Speed up. I'm okay with that. Speed's fine by me. Uh, is this pheromones? Oh, it's puberty. Huh. Or one more off. Um, anything else? Nope. Next four. The item in there was Curse of the Night, if I believe. That gives you a flight and spectral tears, I think. Not really worth. You gotta sometimes wager the cost. If I found that in a... For free, <laughs> I'd take it, but... Not spending two hearts on that one. I only have three. Until the end. Empress, that's pretty good. We might need that at some point. I hate these rooms. Sometimes there'll be enemies in these rooms, and these guys just come out and hit you while you're already in a corner. Uh, that is compost. I don't really want it. Compost kind of looks like cancer, but cancer is a trinket. Cancer is actually good. Compost is not really good. I guess I'll kill the boss right now in my double room. Okay. Didn't mean to damage myself there, but it's alright. Got Sty. That's uh, maybe okay, given the circumstances. Money's power is actually pretty good for us, and that unlocks the Zazel. Zazel's the easiest character in the game. It's not even really a question. Always fun to play as Azel too. Uh, I don't have a key. Mm. That's not helpful. Not the secret room. Could be on the right here. So we're gonna just investigate some of these rooms here. Make sure we don't miss anything major. That is. Uh, what's his name? The Delirium? It's like... Was the one true final boss, I think, in Afterbirth Plus? I think. Now the true boss is the one dude. Like, basically just fucking Satan. It's a side-scroller. <laughs> Really annoying boss to get to. Uh, uh, what does this give me again? Console. Um, I really don't. Oh, I died to a pooplet. What was that? Oh, you're kidding me, man. Now, that's unfortunate. Well, uh, no wins today, but uh, we gotta unlock his angel, so it'll be pretty easy to get a win now. Oh, anyways, peace.